first, uh, let's start with you. Wow, what a difference from Winter Soldier. <laughs> that's that's the goal. Uh, uh, yeah. What, I mean, were you kind of, had you done this kind of humor? Had you done this kind of improv before, really? No, I mean, I think for some reason, I, I end up sometimes getting cast as like assholes, which is which is great for me because then all the people I went to high school with, I can just like throw throw out, you know, throw in front of a screen. <laughs> That's basically what happens. But um, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I just it was a it was a really funny role, and um, the dialogue was just insane, and and had me laughing when I was reading it, and. Uh, you know, it was, yeah, it was a chance to, to work with some really clever, very funny people. And, uh, and that only elevates you in the process. And do gymnastic sex, which is, right. you don't get to do that often, I don't think. No. <laughs> no. You don't know Sebastian. Mm. Oh, really? Oh, okay. There's I things have, we don't know? I have oh, seen no. the private Snapchat <laughs> videos, and they are right. dope. <laughs> <laughs> I really... <laughs> like this character. I really connected with him. I grew up in a small town. Oh, yeah. Where did you find him and, and, and the, the little twitching thing? <laughs> Was that always part of the script? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's written into it. That's his name, that's the whole, that's, that's, that's a big character color for him. Uh, for me, you know, like Ben's, or Twitchy is just this sort of like, uh, kind of very enamored, very kind of innocent guy. I mean, he, he really is quite infatuated with Hope Ann Gregory and kind of like, uh, kind of like her dad sees the legend, but also sees a bit of like the wounded bird, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, not that he wants to like help her, but he just like wants to be, he wants to get to the real her. Um, and the, as for the twitching thing, I mean, it's, it's, I always envisioned it and Brian Buckley, the director and I kind of like, we had a shorthand, we kind of envisioned it like a dial, you know, cause you want to like turn it up for like a punchline and then turn it down for the rest of it, so it's not just like, I'm not like going crazy the entire time, right? It's gotta appear like subtle and natural and stuff. But Otherwise, were you ever like, like drinking coffee and at some point like like in between? Oh, like I had trouble scenes. actually in my off time because like, you know, we'd shoot, you'd shoot for a couple days and then have like a day or whatever off, like I would be like, <laughs> it would just like come. And, like, just, even a few weeks after that, shooting, yeah. I'd just be like having this, even when I was watching it last night, I, I found myself in the thing like, <laughs> Like falling into it, it's really weird. It's it once it becomes habitual, it just suddenly starts up again. But yeah, this is such a great script. I mean, there's so much humor and so much heart, but and it's really crude. Yeah. What is what attracted? Is that what attracted you guys to the script? Because it's really, I think, unusual. I've always been a fan of like those dark comedy movies, like Borat and Very Bad Things and things like that, where just outrageous things happen. And and then you know, if you got to have a sense of humor for it, I guess. And so to me, that was. You know, I loved like how much this movie was bringing out the cynic in you, if you will. You know, mm -hmm. like, you don't see that every day. No, you yeah. don't see. And she's such an, a unique character. And you, what, what was it for you? Was it that kind of dark edge? Yeah, darkness and 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 also um, some sadness. I really think. I mean, like the. Uh, Hope Ann Gregory is like just clinging to like a frayed end of uh, her fame and that fame even is undercut because it's like bronze as opposed to gold, right? Yeah. Um, I think, and I think a lot of the characters in it have a secret hidden sadness in it. The dad's like watching his daughter kind of like spiral out of control. Even Sebastian's character is like, I'm king of the world, but then he has this monologue at the end where it's like, oh my God, that dude is broken. Um, there's just... There's just sadness to it, and like I don't know, a lot of comedies nowadays, at least the ones that get made and put in theaters, like they, all that is not even present. It's just like you know, crazy road trip, and someone takes their shirt off and then does a bunch of dick jokes. So yeah. <laughs> there's well, there's more to it than that in, in this one, I think.